I'm with Janice Miller, a partner at Miller Haga Law Group. Thanks, Janice, for being here. Thanks, Katie, for having me. Now, in a divorce, when there's a business involved, a valuation comes up. Uh, what are some of the implications and how can you help out with those issues? If couples are in the process of getting a divorce and they have a business, and one of the issues is how to value that company, what you would look to is you would either look to um, the corporate form, it wouldn't be the corporate formation documents, but it would be the, the beginnings of the corporate corporation. You would look at whether or not they had a shareholders agreement, whether there was a buy-sell agreement, or anything that indicated how the company would be disposed of, wind, wound down, mm -hmm. at the end of the life of the company. If you think of a company, you have to think of it as an entity, a living, breathing thing. And if you're trying to wind it down or you're trying to buy portions of it or sell portions of it, there has to be documents that set that roadmap for people. And that would be a buy-sell agreement, it would be a shareholder's agreement, etc. The valuation or how that would be done, some of it may be in the corporate documents and it would say hypothetically that you would hire a third party to come in and do a full valuation of the assets of the company. There might be a formula that's baked into the buy-sell agreement or otherwise. Uh, or whatever the parties agree upon at the time the document was entered into. Well, thank you, Janice. I My really pleasure. appreciate it. For more information, please reach out to me, and I am happy to connect you with Janice Miller at Miller Hoggle Law Group.